Hi everybody, John Bailey, gemstone artist and founder of the Faceting Academy. I am back with another one of my quick answer videos to one of your faceting questions. It's a great thing for people to ask questions, by the way, because not only does that get the videos going, it actually builds the community because it builds the discussion. Make some discussion down in the comments, down below, and share your ideas. Share this video with other people. It builds a faceting community and uh, that kind of helps us all out because fastening is sort of otherwise a solitary activity. So this, uh, this video question, this is for Jim Bob, who uh, he writes in, as a newbie, I'd like to learn how to cheat in a facet. What's enough and how can you tell before it's overcut? Well, hi Jim Bob. Uh, what I wanna say is that cheating a facet is like uh, using really hot pepper in your cooking. If you use too much, you'll get into a problem where you're going round and round and adding salt or sugar or other flavors and every time each thing is overwhelming the other thing and pretty soon the dish isn't good for anything except weed control. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you should seek not to need to cheat, actually. If you think you need to cheat lots, then there's something else wrong. It's either with the machine or with some of your techniques somewhere, your dopping, your transfer or something. When you do cheat, start with really tiny increments like adding habaneros to a light cream sauce. It's really easily overdone, so dial a small bit and look and look and test and train your eye to see the tiniest bit of cheat as you're applying it and to notice which direction it's going in. The biggest problem I find with students learning to cheat is that they try to fix machine or technique issues with the cheater and they haven't trained their eyes to see good enough to notice the cheat that they're getting. So they pour it on and they wind up over cheated into a different problem entirely. So learn to look, learn to see the effects that are happening as they're happening and realize that training the eye is even more important than training the fingers. Now with practice, you'll develop the ability to look at a facet and make a very good estimate of how much to turn the dial and get it dead on. Personally, when I see a facet that needs cheating, I usually don't have to adjust the dial more than once or twice to get exactly the meat, float the meat up to where I want it to be. That's just practice and familiarity with the machine. So there's, there's nothing more to that than time with your tail in the seat uh, working on stones. Now the other problem I find with cheating is forgetting that you've fudged the thing and then botching another facet. So it's important to stay undistracted and to mentally track where the cheater is. Keep resetting it to the zero point every time after you use it. And always, always, always check it. Check it obsessively. Check it like the buckles on a rock climbing harness. Check it like the buckles on a paragliding harness. Keep checking it and being aware of where it is. Keep checking it obsessively like the safety on your firearm. Always know and push that thing back to zero. Push it back to zero after every stone. Push it back to zero when you take the stone and go to transfer it. You've just cheated a little bit maybe on the pavilion. Push it back to zero before you leave the machine to go and do your transfer. That way when you come back, you're going to be zeroed in. Now the solution to every other issue with this is cut lots of stones. Cut as often as you can. And I recommend daily practice or at a minimum three times a week with hands on the machine and materials. Less than that allows a little decay of the skill and then you have to play catch up when you come back. So that's all my advice about cheating. I hope this answer is helpful to your success and your enjoyment of fastening. I hope you're very successful and your meats are great and getting better and better now that you're playing with your cheater. And uh, ask any other questions that you have. Put them down in the comments below or open the discussion. Uh, I'll try to chime in and answer stuff or make another video. Uh, if you have any other questions, Drop them here, I'll do what I can, and until then, have good meets, and I'll see you at thefacetingacademy.com.